Hi, and welcome back to Cindy's Fashion Safari. Um, I'm just going to take a couple minutes and do a quick review of a few of the products I've been using in the past week. And they are worthy to mention. So the first one is L'Oreal, and this is L'Oreal Paris Skin Expertise, and it is Revital Lift and Double Lifting. Um, it's an ultra concentrated lifting gel and an anti-wrinkle moisturizing clean cream in one step and um, and it is it's 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 a pump and out of one side comes a moisturizer and the other side comes a gel and I've been using this uh, for the past five days now and I apply it all over my face and down my neck in place of the moisturizer that I, I used for years which uh, was 40 carats and um, and yeah I do like it and I, I think it does make it it, it seems to be making a, a, a difference in um, the tightness the firmness of my skin and I use this uh, as preparation before primer I do use primer Okay, so that's number one, and I, on a scale from one to ten, I'm going to give this a eight. Okay, the second product is also uh, L'Oreal Paris, and this is a mascara, and it is volum Voluminous False Lashes. And, um, yeah, I, I'm very pleased with this as well. I've used this... Um, yeah, same same amount of time, uh, about the past four or five days, and uh, it is very easy to put on, and it is also um, easy to take off with uh, eye makeup remover. So on a scale of one to ten, I will give this a seven because there's always room for improvement, right? Okay, the next uh, two items <clears throat> are also by Maybelline. And the one is Dream Smooth Mousse. This is like my all-time favorite foundation. And I have tried... I have tried at least... at least 50 in, in the past 20 years, okay, at least, and ranging from the least expensive all the way up to high-end Chanel, and nothing against Chanel because I do like Chanel, but I really like this Dream Smooth Mousse, and this is in, um, this is in a little palette, it goes on so nice, um, and you can you can overlay this. You can um, uh, put it on, and then if you see something that's not covered, you can go over top of it. So you can uh, overlay this to get um, the uh, right amount for your skin. Um, the next is also Maybelline Maybelline Dream Mousse, but this is liquid, and I like this uh, just as much. It's to me, it's just, it's a wonderful foundation. It goes on very easily with a brush. Um, it is full coverage. You can make it uh, lighter. You can, you, like I said, you can do an overlay with it, and it and it really stands up to the challenge. So both of these, on a scale from one to ten, I'm going to give this one over here an eight. And this one, I'm going to give a seven and a half. Now, the uh, final review 
for today is going to be, again, this is Maybelline, and these are color tattoos. Now, if you've watched uh, a couple of my outfits of the day, I am raving about these. Um, they they literally la they last all day. I have it on today, and um, in fact, I I use it as primer. I really I, I use them as primer and also uh, color. Uh, I have this one on today, and um, I did my I went over my my lid and also up a little bit on the crease and up in the uh, under the brow with this because it is white and I was going for a uh, a vintage look and hit no crease um, no smear it, it 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 is a phenomenal uh, product it really is and um, they come in I think it's ten different colors and I have five uh, but it's like I said, you, uh, I'm using them as, as uh, a base, a primer, primer with color. I use no other primer. This is it. And then you can take, um, uh, you can take a, a powder and uh, do, uh, you know, your crease, or if you want to have a, um, a more vibrant look, you can take powder and go over this, and it. It blends well. It um, I can't say enough of good things about this Maybelline color tattoo, and uh, uh, you know I'm not getting paid for any of this stuff. I, none of this is sent to me. I uh, they are I paid I think it was six six ninety seven a piece for them, um, but they're worth it. They are so worth it. So um, yeah, on a scale. From 1 to 10, I'm going to give these a 9.5 because there always is room for improvement. So thanks very, very much for uh, tuning in at once again to Cindy's Fashion Safari and uh, my review. Have a great night and as always, enjoy the hunt. <laughs>